good morning or good afternoon church it is right now let's see here i am standing on the corner of northeast 7th avenue and uh northeast hold on a second here this is a, a brand new area for me i just came back from dutch brothers a few minutes ago and uh got some hot water for uh to make myself some lunch here uh, a couple noodles and a sandwich and a banana and all um, I'm standing right here right now on 7th and Northeast Lloyd Boulevard, I think. Uh, Northeast Lloyd Boulevard and uh, Northeast 7th Avenue. This entire thing, this area here, you can see it's, it's, it's all fresh and brand new within the last year or so. Um, this is called Congressman Earl uh, Blumenauer Bridge. I'm not exactly sure who Blumenauer was. Uh, I guess he was a congressman. It says, City of Portland Bureau of Transportation, Prosper Portland, Go Lloyd, Central East, East Side Industrial Council, 2022. So that's my yellow bag over there in my lunch. And you can see this area here. This building here is where EEOC is, Equal Employment Opportunity Commission um, building is. Um, I went in there a couple years ago, about five years ago, when I got fired from 2017 when my situation with MacArthur had just gone uh not viral but you know uh before this bridge was here this is brand new too this year and um i went in there and tried to get some help from uh them i think they're on the 10th floor and i couldn't get no help you know i couldn't get no help no support nothing um that you know housing same thing with housing i went in there and tried to talk to them about um housing and how they were trespassing into um, the housing I didn't get any help from them either so whether housing or I, I as a matter of fact they had um, you know your w-2s from the state and from um, from from the state and from federal and, and state uh, they were supposed to send me a check I never got the check um, I was told by this guy who helped me do um, my IRS this was back in 2019 I think it was they never sent me the check or what happened is that they sent the check and Gabriel Franklin took the money I'm not exactly sure I think when I called them they said no no check was produced because I hadn't worked that year but why is this update video here I wanted to show you the area that there's a lot of construction going on and uh, we have a brand new fresh bridge um, I sort of feel like I need a new fresh bridge, you know, because of what's going on in my life. A few minutes ago, I was at the top of my lungs, inside of the storage, outside of the storage, and on my way here, I just got, um, when I got the, the hot water from, um, when I got the hot water from Dutch Brothers, as soon as I walk in, this Hispanic woman was talking to this white man, and she lunged. I didn't take it. Then the woman comes out of the back and gives me a cup of hot water. I was re ready to pay for it. I originally wanted to go to Starbucks, but Starbucks is closed and they're doing some construction um, around the corner there, you know, right across the street from Dutch Brothers is Starbucks, but we're not going to go over there to look at all of that. But point being that um, last night, you know, every night they do this. They sexually assault me. Um, they cut me. They pierce me. Last weekend, I spoke to um, Officer Nicole Miller and they came into the tent. They put a hole into my nine by nine tent. Um, you see this cup right here? I had this cup of a, a cup of noodles just like this one um, in the tent. They poured out all the water that was in the cup of noodles and uh, they left it dry. And I thought that was kind of rude. Um, I had, the Lord had told me to buy a, a, a table. So I went and I bought a table. I had a smaller table, but he told me no to get another table, a little bit bigger. So I went and got the bigger table and I had it set up in the tent. I had my cot. Um, they waited till I wasn't there anymore. They poured the water out of the soup that I was gonna have for, for dinner. They kicked my they kicked the uh, um, they kicked the cot so that it would be uh, instead of being straight instead of it being straight it was it veered sideways because of the kick. Um, they took a knife and th they did this twice. They did this to my jacket, a, a brand new suit jacket that I had gotten from Operation Night Watch on Thursday. And they also did it um, the weekend before uh, to the tent where it's like it's a little hole, you know, and then underneath it's a cut that like a J. They use some sort of X-Acto knife to do this. And I thought, man, how rude. You know, this fucking Haitian woman is just asking for me to, you know, to kill her. I hate the woman. I absolutely hate her because she's a hermaphrodite. You know, her name is Gabriel Franklin or I don't even know if that's her real name. 
I think that's just a, a, an alias name that she used and and she uses it as an alias name to protect her real family, to protect her real children, Guy Franklin and Maria Nett and Carell and Max Henry and Jean Marie, none of them were her real children. None of them were her relate, related to her. She was a hermaphrodite, apparently a woman with a dick in between her legs. And um, she's working together with Europeans that are up here to reduce Haitians to slavery. Um, and basically, my conclusion is that slavery is never going to leave America. And what I said to them in the streets is that she's, um, she, MacArthur is using her. It, it, it's like MacArthur is, is being escorted by this woman to sexually assault me. And while she is here in Portland, then he can carry out any kind of vendetta against me. With her by his side, any member of his congregation, because they're all a clan, they're not a church, any member of his congregation can do me harm because she was the receiving, um, she was the receiving uh, hostess, right? She was the receiving hostess. She was the woman, her and Guy Franklin received me into the country. But, you know, with the naturalization certificate, they're sort of like, uh, uh, um, you know, the naturalization certificate doesn't uh, represent the community. Uh, that is the LGBTQ community where you've got all of the hermaphrodites and homosexuals and, and the Klan and the lesbi lesbians, gays, bisexuals, transgender, all of that. That's not, those, you know, that, the naturalization certificate, um, they literally removed me out of the country, um, out of the church, so that they could deal with me as a hermaphrodite community, as a, as a, a lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer community. And everything that I, I have been given by the country and by the church they've completely removed and they've completely erased this is how john fullerton has dealt with me he's a he's a hermaphrodite he's not a christian he's a hermaphrodite and my, my whoo, excuse me here he's a hermaphrodite and um let me see here okay i had to confirm i just the the um the machine just slipped so i had to confirm that it didn't um it didn't stop you know being he's a hermaphrodite and what he does is he removes people out of the church and he takes away everything from them that the country gives to them and that the church gives to them. And what he brings in is a lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer community and everything. Now, in order for a person to take back the job, take back the home, take back the church, they have to claim to be either homo, they either have to have the genital, he has to have a vagina or she has to have a cock and or they have to claim homosexuality as their way of life, not using the word homosexual, but using the word that. So, in that I have not used the word that to describe myself and made myself available to God knows what kind of perverted lifestyle, I'm still having to go to the store to deal with that. I, all, the whole shebang, everything you can think of that, that includes that shit, I've had to deal with it. But I'm telling you, you know, and what I told them was that slavery is never going to end in America because of that hermaphrodite. Uh, lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer community. Um, it will never end. It will never stop. These people will never stop uh, using sex, the door of sex, the, se the door of immorality. You got to understand that Romans 1, 18 through 32, that which was a condemnation is now the American standard for those, for the lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer, supported by um, not the Constitution, but by the Supreme Court. And because it's supported by the Supreme Court, and of course, they use the doctrine of grace to say that it's okay for them to live that way. But men who don't want to live that way, who don't want to go in that direction, what they do is they take you out and they entice the old man that is in you. See, the old man in Colossians is the fact that you were, the old man is Romans 1, the fact that you were turned over. Well, they remove you out of the fellowship of the church. They remove you out of where you can find a Christian wife and, and women find Christian husbands. And they bring you back into the world and they literally beat the, they, they beat the faith out of you. You know, they beat the faith out of you. Whatever faith you had in Christ, it's no longer faith. Everything is by the standard of being fags. Everything is by the standard of being homosexual. Everything is by the standards of having sex with women with cocks or women with cocks coming in through the back door like Gabriel Franklin, you know, sticking their, 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 their cock up your butt or their finger up your butt or, or using you without you. I mean, you're doing it in the store. That's one thing. It's consensual, but they're doing it while you're asleep. You don't have any idea 
you know, who you're dealing with, what kind of diseases they're carrying, and so on and so forth. So it's unacceptable. And plus, it's followed by cutting, piercing, destruction of property, stolen property, stolen money. And, you know, I just, I mean, I'm at the top of my lungs at the storage, okay? Um, screaming and cursing her out because she's in the background with the police. She's in the background with John MacArthur and members of his congregation. Once they remove you out of the fellowship and they bring you out here back into the world, for 25 years, this is what this man has been doing to my life. For 25 years, he has used nothing but faggots and he has used nothing but pissed off Klansmen. And it's like, we'll give you our shit, we'll give you our cock, but we're not giving you a woman. We're not giving you back your job. We're not giving you back your home. And he's supported by Windsor. He's supported by the Congress. He's supported. And from what I was told, you know, when you go back into the police department to file a police report because Nicole, Nicole, what's her name? Nicole Miller, the, 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 the police officer, I call her Pretty Face Miller. You know, the whole reason why she's there is to make you desire her, but the, but the you know, to entice but the end result of it is you don't get nothing. I, I mean, I went as far as removing all of the police. Remember the, the, the police car, card numbers? I removed them all. Why? Because there's no point. This, this, this certificate here that they give you as identity in the country, it's not a community certificate. It's a country certificate. You understand? This is, this is who you are in the country. You know, you people that are out there in the naturalization, in the naturalized world, this here is your identity and your relationship with this American government. I'm out there telling the American, I'm, ask, I'm asking the American government, what is this relationship between you and me? What is this called? What is this called? If, you, if you've removed my home, you remove my job, you remove my employment, right? My job, you remove my education, you remove everybody that I knew as friends that could be my contact person or reference, you remove the church, what is this relationship? What is this relationship? What is this relationship called? What is this relationship called? They will not speak. They are tight-lipped, okay? They, they keep turning to the lesbian, gay, bisexual. They, just, they keep turning to this. this. This is what they keep turning to, the cock, okay? My relationship with this country, with the country, is this. My relationship with God's church. Here is, here's the Gideon's Bible here. Here's the Gideon's Bible. These people are a bunch of hypocrites. These Europeans are a bunch of devils and hypocrites. They write an independent... Um, uh, they, they write an um, a declaration of independence from England and all they did was continue what the king um, all they did was continue what the king had been doing to the the, 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 the foreign nations you know the foreigners that are here the, the, the uh, Native Americans and the Africans okay the mistreatment they just continued as a clan okay this is the, the, the relationship with, 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 with America the country this is the relationship with the church okay so then what relationship is this that Gabriel Franklin, that, that's the name she gave to me and Guy Franklin, that, what, is this, what is this relationship here? Okay, 24 seven, seven days a week, she needs to be sucking on this and pulling it out and yanking it in, in, on buses, on trains, when I fall asleep as a narcoleptic, um, the police department is assisting this fucking woman. I mean, what, what is this? I mean, I was removed by Nanuet, uh, 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 by Cardinal McCluskey's group home, to, you know, from the abuse. Where's the protection of the Christian church? Where's the protection of the American government? There is no protection because these people, because of the cock, because of the cock here and the vagina, you know, these people, the, the lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer community now have open door. You know, it's, a, it's, an, it's an open door thing. It's, a, it, 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 it's, it's, it, it's the, your, your whole life. This is, this is the life. This is the life here. You, you lose the church and you lose the country for the fucking community, right? For the fucking community, you got to be sitting there sucking their cocks and sticking your finger up their ass, right? Eating their ass, sucking their dicks, and and, 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 and sticking your cock up their butt. Okay, this is what you lose. You lose America. You, you lose the church for this fucking community here. This is the fucking community, pardon my French, this is the fucking community that God called Sodom and Gomorrah and destroyed in Genesis 19. This is what they are today. I had put in a, a, a video... I had put in a video on there a while back asking, is Sodom and Gomorrah, is the new name for Sodom and Gomorrah, uh, um, the LGBTQ? I, I, I don't know. Or is it that? What is it? They're, he they're still here today. We still have to deal with them. We have to forsake what, what it means to be an American under the Constitution. We have to forsake what it means to be protected by the American uh, 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 laws and the ORS laws. We have to forsake the, the protection of the Holy Scriptures, the Holy Spirit of God. And I'm beginning to think, wait a minute, isn't the Holy Spirit of God a spirit? So then what is this, right? 
What is this? What, what is this? How can God not do anything about what we've lost here for this? Is this the New Testament church? Is this what we've become? Is this, is this, is this us today? I mean, I, I thought this was us, right? But this was us. And then this is Romans 13, right? This is Romans 13 for the natural eyes. So I asked them, what is the relationship? What is my relationship with you now? You know, as Grace, if Grace Community Church put this away, then what is our relationship? We don't, we no longer have one because Grace switched it from this to this. What, what, what is this? And then, and behind this comes the, the, the Gabriel Franklin, right? All the, all the black women, as many black women as you want. I'm not into black women. I don't want black women. I, I don't like that shit. I don't want no black vagina. I, I'm not into the black community. I'm not into the slave community of America. I didn't come to America to live with a slave family, to be supported by a slave family, to put myself under a slave family. What am I saying? I come from a country full of a African slaves who fought for their independence, right? Haiti fought for their independence so that we are no longer called slaves of the British, slaves of the French, and slaves of the Spanish, right? Hispaniola. So we are independent. We are black, but we're independent. And, and what is this? Now I meet a, a, a supposed Protestant in a church and he turns me over to this shit. America, we need a new bridge. We need a new bridge. If you can, if you can, if you can give us this bridge right here, right? This, this, this bridge right here. If you can give us this bridge right here to cross over, right? I mean, we already have one, right? Don't we have one? We had that one right there. We have, we have, a, we have a bridge, don't we? We, we had that bridge right over there where you see those cars coming down. That bridge right over there. You see where the car is? Over there. That, that's a bridge. Okay, now this is the fresh new one. Okay, we need a fresh new bridge. A fresh new bridge so that people understand, you know, how are we doing here? What are we doing? What are we doing and how are we doing? We can't, you can't be sending people, you can't have offices. Look at the American flag flying up there. You got Equal Employment Opportunity Commission. With, the, with this certificate, I should have been able to get a job. With the certificate, I should have been able to get a job under that flag right there. With this certificate, with this certificate, I should have been with, with, with this Bible under this under this constitution right here under under this under this flag. I should have been able to do what? Graduate from seminary. It's been 25 years, 25 years, Master Seminary. 25 years. Look at that. Isn't that a Gabriel Franklin representative wearing orange? Is not brother and Kevin Ernst? No, no brother and Kevin Ernst. Kevin Ernst is not a fucking homosexual looking for some cock up his ass. Mm -hmm. This is what's going on in the 21st century. You've seen my videos and you've heard what I've had to say. Now this is what's going on here in Portland, Oregon. You know, they're starting to come out. They know where I'm at, wherever I'm at, there they come. You know, wherever I'm at, they come out. You know, this is, this is sad news for me today. Real sad news, I went over to Gresham on um, this past week. And when I went to Gresham, I got to put this stuff away. The Lord said to me, go to Gresham and, and sit at the TC, the transit center, and read for one hour. That day, I had to go into the store and do that. I, and, and do that. So, because either I did ministry, I was preaching, or there was a threat against the church. Somebody got hurt. Somebody got bled. Somebody got killed. I'm not exactly sure. Um, you know, they're constantly telling me that the people of Windsor, you know, the, 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 the William committed suicide and jumped out of, I mean, lies, you know, w William committed suicide and jumped out of an airplane. This was uh, before the burial. And then uh, Charles just got his head cut off. I mean, you know, shit like that. And it's like, I don't understand these people, you know? So I go with all their lies and deception. So, and, I, and I have to hear this from Melinda MacArthur. She's a devil, you know? She told me she doesn't have a vagina, but she has a cock. I'm like, okay, Melinda, whatever, okay? She's a dyke, she's a hermaphrodite, you know? So anyway, I go to uh, uh, Hillsboro, not Hillsboro, Gresham, to read the Bible. I sit there and I read Colossians 3, I read 1 Thessalonians, 2 Thessalonians, and then I read 2 Corinthians 6, um, you know, 14 through 18, that says, come out from among them, right? And be separate, says the Lord, come out of Sodom, come out of the LGBTQ, come out of the world, and be separate, says the Lord. Well. Um, I didn't, I mean, I got, you know, I, all the time that I'm sitting there, they're opposing me. They would not even allow me to read the scriptures. I mean, I was the only one on the platform. 
And these people sent security to remove me. They started making noise. Uh, 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 they, they, they sent the homeless. To, I mean, it's almost like seriously under the Constitution that, that says that we have the freedom of religion in Gresham. You know, Gresham is east of here, right? You take this interstate that's right here and you can take it all the way to Gresham. But these people, I mean, I cannot understand how these people work. You know, before I even get to a city or before I get to a place, here there are opposing, I mean, they have it all rigged up and set up. I mean, I can't leave the state. I can't, I can't go back into housing. I mean, I'm, I'm 51 years old. I just turned 51 September 1st. On the first I was hit, I mean, eight days later I'm hit. I mean, every single day. It's like, it's a whole, it's a whole, in the word of not country and not church, but in under the, under the guise of community. Okay, LGBTQ community, clan community, whatever pagan community that there is in this country, these people are completely out. Jonathan Zabel just came out. Oh, that was the voice of Jonathan Zabel. Lies and manipulation. Why am I saying this to you, church? Because I need your prayers. I need deliverance from these people. I can't run back to Port-au-Prince. I heard that they've got an a, a airplane ticket waiting for me, a Pan Am airplane ticket waiting for me to go back to Port-au-Prince. Who do I have in Port-au-Prince? I don't know nobody in Port-au-Prince. My father is dead. My mother is dead. Who the hell am I gonna go back to in Port-au-Prince? To a government, a black government that I do not know to be raped and molested by these fucking Haitian women? They're fucking Haitian women. They're trained by these European homosexuals and Klansmen to rape me and to take my cock whether or not I want it. They're trained to take my, my seed and put it in these black women and then, and then go into my personal property, go into my bank account, take my money and claim that those are mine. They're not mine. If, I, if, my, if I'm not literally having sex with these women, as you can see, there's no ring here. I am not a married Christian man. You understand? I'm a pissed off Christian man who's being raped and abused by the master seminary, their, 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 uh, uh, the, the former president and this Haitian family who brought me here and they are being escorted and supported by your American government. Your American government at the Justice Center. I mean, they sexually assault me right in front of the police department and what is the response of the police? We didn't see nothing, we didn't hear nothing. You have no evidence. I have never seen shit like this before in my life. What Martin Luther King fought for, he didn't fight for nothing. It was a bunch of bullshit. Okay, what Martin Luther King fight for, what, what, what fight? We're still living it. We are still living it behind every single one of these towers. Look at these towers. Behind every single one of these towers is slavery. Every single one of these towers is slavery. The relationship with that race right there is slavery. There is no other relationship. They will not change their course with slavery in this country. These people are die hard. I will make you my fucking slave and you will be put under me and you cannot be equal to me. You cannot be nothing but my slave. 24 seven, seven days a week, 365 days of the year, this country, I mean, they are established on fucking slavery. What is it with these European people that they can't respect others other than being their fucking slaves? I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand. We need a new bridge. We need a new bridge because let me tell you something, that city, what is that right there? That's Gabriel Franklin. They put that shit right there. You see? You see, that's the face of Gabriel Franklin. That's how they talk. This is how they talk. You see, there's a, there's a rock, the, 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 the nail, the bent nail, that's the cock. Okay, that means that she's fucking me. That, right there, that's Gabriel's head. Right there, and this is, and it's two-faced. This is how they've been talking to me. This is how they've been talking to me for the last 25 years, trying to help me understand this is the direction that America went with slavery. Do you not understand me, church? Church, you who believe, who have the Holy Spirit of God, these people, the slavery is still in the country. It's in the community. You gotta go into the community and submit to that shit in order for you to see it the way they see it. It is still here. It never left. The country that professes the Constitution brings you out of the, 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 the country and brings you and puts you under the community. They take you out of the church fellowship and put you into the community. The community is the clan community, the settler community. These people are double-minded. That's what you're dealing with here. This city here, this is a slave city. Every single one of these fucking Africans are slaves. You understand? Seattle, slaves. Portland, slave. New York, slave. Nothing but slaves. You see that city right there? That city called Portland? Slaves. All of them. All of the Africans. Slaves. All of them. All of the Africans. Slaves. Slaves. 
That's mine. Slaves. Everywhere you go, it's slavery. Every single one of them. Right there. That city right there. That's the city of slavery right there. That is the city. That is the city of Satan. That is the city of slavery. That is the city of the devil. Right there. That's the devil's city. Right there. That is the city of slavery. That is the city of slavery. Every single one of these buildings, every single one of these fucking Europeans, you see them right there? Slavery. That's what's inside of them. Their mentality. Don't listen to the African American. The African American is protecting their slave masters. Every single one of them is protecting their white masters. Every single one of these fucking Africans are protecting their white masters in this fucking United States. You have to go into the community and suck their dick to know what it is for them to come out and show you where it's at. It's in the Hispanic, it's in the Asian, it's in the European, it's in, the, it's in their fake churches, it's in their congregation. It's nothing but slavery. And let me tell you something, slavery is Satan. That's what it is. And they're down in Port-au-Prince right now waiting for me. And the Africans are hated by God. They're hated by God because they believe that somehow the fallen angels, the fallen angels are, 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 are Africans. I don't know what to tell you. If you're really born again, I, you may not even really be a born again. You may just believe that you are and you're just another condemned soul. If the, if the Jesus of the Bible didn't give you a Holy Spirit, then um, most likely you're really not a Christian. And most likely you're still under their condemnation, the condemnation of the God of, of Israel. I don't know. But I had a lot to say this afternoon. I've said it. It's, one, it's uh, going on 1230, 12.30 right now. And um, I'm not exactly sure what the day was con is, will consist of. Um, when they catch up with this video, you know, probably be the same hits. You'll never see me again on Grace Community Church property. You'll never see me again associating with the Franklins. Um, but America, we need a new bridge. I'm not gonna read you any Bible verses. Bible verses is not gonna stop this.